what a fun night here on QCTV. Hey, look, I think I see my car down there. At Anoka High School tonight, the Centennial Cougars taking on the Anoka Tornadoes. Both teams playing a lot better in the second half. But in the first half, it's uh, it's really a back and forth game early. Dre Ellis, the young freshman, nice little fall away runner. Then Peyton Padani, a nice little drive to the basket as well. And early on, Anoka gets the early lead. But then the three pointers start falling for Centennial. And I do mean for size. They made 11 threes in the first half, and they were making them from everywhere. There's Jackson Dreesen getting hot from the outside. Then another three point opportunity right here from Luke Gunderman off the bench. Splash, there's a nice one right there. Answer from Peyton Padani on the other end. Only two in the first half made by Anoka. That was a big one there. But Jackson Dreesen had the answer. He knocks down another, and before you know it, it's a lead in the first half by seven for Centennial, as they just made everything in a high-scoring first half. Second half, Tornadoes hang tough. They start taking the ball to the basket, being more aggressive. There's Donald Pra. Then there's Peyton Padani, but another made shot from Centennial. Keeps him at arm's length. They got up to ten. This was maybe the moment of the game where it changed. This dunk and a foul on Reagan Reeder. This dunk gave some momentum to the Tornadoes, and before you know it, that ten-point lead evaporated. Then Chris Cooper took over. Cooper was really fantastic down the stretch, as was Donald Pra. Nice Euro step there and a made basket. And as much as we saw Centennial kind of hang around and try to keep this game tight, in the end it was the tight defense by Anoka, like Chris Cooper getting a steal here, and some clutch baskets and some made free throws, and Anoka was able to go on and win this thing 81-74 here tonight at Anoka.